What do you make of the, the cost of public education right now um, in the country and in Massachusetts? I mean, even at state school, you know, fees are going up. It's, yeah. it's not cheap um, if you don't get financial aid. Do you, I mean, I saw a report recently that uh, student loan debt has exceeded credit card debt nationally. Yes. It seems like this is a real problem facing the country. It is. It's more of a problem facing private universities. If you look at the debt, uh, when they give those figures, most of that debt comes from private universities at two and three times more what public universities uh, are. So that's number one. Secondly, let me get to your question of, of um, public uh, education in Massachusetts. If you look at uh, UMass education over the last three decades and you factor in inflation, the cost of a UMass education, and when I say UMass, I mean Lowell, Amherst, Dartmouth, Boston. The cost of that education actually hasn't gone up. It's slightly gone down when you factor in inflation. So we've actually gotten more efficient as a public institution than the private institutions have. What has shifted in Massachusetts is who pays for it. When I was a student uh, here at UMass Lowell, uh, the budget of this university was paid for about 85% by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Today it's about 23%. So what has happened to tuition and fees in Massachusetts? The shift of who pays for it has shifted from students, I'm sorry, from the state, from the Commonwealth, to students. And I think that's unfortunate. Um, I would like to see the state put more money into higher education. Uh, I would like to see fees come down and not go up. But if I'm faced with a choice of having fees go up by 4 or 5% and having quality go down, or having fees go up by inflation, or 4% and having us continue to rise in terms of our stature as a university, having a UMass Lowell degree mean more, having our graduates make more when they leave, having our alumni be part of a world-class university, I'll take that option because uh, I, I don't think Massachusetts, the economy can't grow. We, we can't afford UMass. It's the highest level of public higher education in, in, in Massachusetts. And there are some people in this state, the elite, the political elite in this state, that seem to think that UMass is just a place where poor kids go to school or kids are not smart enough to get into elite private colleges. Well, they're wrong. The vast majority of people that go to UMass, 88% of them, stay in Massachusetts. We're an innovation economy. If you want to have a strong economy in Massachusetts, you have to invest in UMass. So there are some that think UMass should, uh, shouldn't be a research university. It shouldn't be U.S. News and World Report top ranked. Um, you know, when, when we attract top faculty members, we have to pay them more to attract them. When we try to attract a world-class provost, we pay them more in order to attract them. Because I have a philosophy that I want UMass Lowell to be a great nationally recognized institution. Who thinks that that they shouldn't that you know they shouldn't be in U.S. News and World Report? I think people. Uh, I think people who cut funding for higher education, people that say we should. The last four years, Massachusetts has cut funding for for public higher edu education by 26 percent. Yes, yet there are some folks that want to cut by 26 percent and then have a zero percent fee increase. Well, that can only cut quality. It's optics. It's not reality. It's optics. So um, I feel passionately that anybody that attends UMass Lowell should get a world-class education, and 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 I want to make sure that 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 our graduates get the best education possible. Now, it is true that you know students could you know uh, students I suppose could not go to a public research university, um, but but who thinks it? I think the, 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 the way Massachusetts has invested in public education in the last three decades speaks for itself. Shift of who pays has gone from the Commonwealth to students. Now there are many people that think to come to UMass Lowell, a nationally ranked university, for $21,000 when you could go to a, where it would cost $50,000 to go to a private university. Some people think, well, that's a great deal. We also provide a lot of student aid. We meet about 92% of our financial aid at UMass Lowell. Um, but I, I, I don't think, I think, I think tuition fees should come down. That requires the Commonwealth to step up to the plate and make an investment. I mean, is, is the course state's it's fiscal picture healthy enough? Yes. I, look, I'm not one that, that's, that, that, that says we should excuse the state for three decades 
for an embarrassment invest investment in public higher education. I don't think you should excuse the state for that. Look what California has done with their higher education system. Yes, they've had problems in the last few years, but in California, an in-state student uh, can go to uh, University of California for five or six thousand dollars a year. Look at what Wisconsin is. Look at the great public university systems in America. I think Massachusetts should be embarrassed that they haven't made that investment, but they haven't made that investment because, and this isn't one party or the other, this, this is an elite in, elitism that I think is in both parties, they, they view Mass, that UMass as a safety school, a place where people who aren't wealthy enough to afford a private institution or can't get into a private institution, well, let's, let's put them there. And I reject that, and, and the leadership that I provide at UMass is the opposite of that. The leadership that I provide here is to to get us to the highest, to demand excellence in everything that we do. And if the state's not going to fund us, we're going to be more innovative. We've raised $65 million privately in the, over the last five years. We've grown our online learning program, continuing education. It's a $38 million business for this university. So we need to run, we run UMass Hall like a private university. So we generate revenue in, in, in areas of the university. We're developing professional science master's program. They develop, uh, they uh, uh, result in more revenue for the university. So part of the challenge is that, that we need to run UMass Lowell the way a private university is run because we basically have been privatized. Um, we've gone from, as I mentioned, 85 percent uh, state funded when I graduated from here to about 23 percent state funded. Well, that's basically privatization. We can deal with that. In fact, if you look at the progress we've made over the last five years, you know, there, I have some friends in state government said, well, Marty, you're doing great. You know, you've been cut 26 percent, but you're doing better than you've ever done. Well, part of it is because we're being entrepreneurial in everything we do. We're, we're growing our research expenditures. We're growing our, our fundraising. We've been very aggressive about raising money for scholarships because we want to provide more scholarships. If tuition and fees are going to increase, we need to have more money to provide for scholarships. Because in the end of the day, the key is to be accessible to people. If a student is, is, is highly qualified to come to UMass Lowell, we never want finances to be a barrier. So that's why we've raised as much money as we have in private sector dollars. At the same time we've raised all this money privately, Massachusetts has cut the amount of dollars available for scholarships for students that attend the University of Massachusetts. So it's been a challenge. But I don't, you know, I don't say, well, it's a budget crisis. We haven't had a budget crisis for the last three decades. But that's what hap what ha that's what's happened to funding for public higher education in Massachusetts over the last.